Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to Katie Vision, and hey, what's up if you're new here? If my surroundings look familiar, that's because I recently posted a video reviewing some makeup products, and I am also knocking out another video on the same day. I wanted to share my hair care routine with you guys because I don't know that I have made a video about that, or maybe I have, but it's been a while. So in today's video, I just want to share the products that I use on hair washing day. A little background, I only wash, I wash my hair once a week. I wash my hair on Saturdays. And I mean, that might change depending on what I have going on. If I'm gonna be away for the weekend, I might wash my hair on a Friday or it might end up being on a Sunday. Like it's flexible, but if it works, I always just wash my hair on Saturdays and that's it. So it is hair washing day. I use dry shampoo on like days five and six for sure. Um, and then depending on what I do on Saturdays, I might not like today, I didn't put any in. It's, it's a process. I had to train my hair and I'm just gonna take you through what products I use. It's a pretty basic routine, but yeah, let's just get right into it. I'll stop talking about what it will be about and just show you. Okay, starting out though, this is my hair. I could probably use a trim in the near, near future. The last color I got was probably over a year ago, maybe two years ago. And that was just some light pieces that you can see have grown out like in the front here. And I might have had a few throughout, but really this is pretty much my just natural hair color now, minus a few light pieces. Um, and then my hair does lighten up in the summer with the sun. So yeah, that is what my hair is looking like on day seven. Time to wash this hair out or wash this hair up, I should say. All right, all right, pardon, pardon this angle. It's just what we're gonna work with. Um, so starting out, hair washing day, shampoo and conditioner. Let me show you what I've been using. I've tried many different shampoo and conditioners. I can't sit here and say I have an absolute favorite. Uh, and I just keep trying different ones. I am at a point right now where I'm just using up the product I have been using because I don't want it to go to waste. I have reviewed a product line um, by Nexus. I loved that product. I thought it was great. Um, but I always get in these, I go in these phases where I just, I have to try, I want to try something different. So I used all that up and now I'm on to this and I am working through these and then I think I will likely try a different product that my that my friend recommends i'll probably have her help me pick what she thinks would be best for my hair so this is what i'm using right now i am using the i think it's the ogx brand for organics i use the damage remedy and coconut miracle oil extra strength formula so i use the shampoo and then i have the conditioner that goes along with it as well as you can see my shampoo is gonna run out much sooner, which is okay. Um, but anyways, this is what I use for shampoo and conditioner. And then I've been incorporating also a hair mask that I like to use every other wash. I don't, so I don't do it every week. I've been doing it every other just to like ease into it. I've shared it, it is by way, and it is for the thick hair, thick hair treatment mask. I believe the direction said, yeah, it says so use once a week or more if your hair is super thirsty. So um, I didn't want to use it every single week. I'm kind of like easing into it. I wanted to just like use it and see if I would need to use it more. So far doing it every other week has been really helpful. I've noticed a difference and just really focusing it on the ends and making sure I leave it and let it sit in my hair in the shower for a bit. I've tried masks, hair masks in the past, but I I just had I didn't have the patience to let them like sit and really do their job. So this is a great product, but you have to let you have to follow the directions and let it do its job. So what I do with that, I end up doing conditioner, like my regular conditioner, like on the upper half, and then I save my ends to do with this. I let it sit in the shower and then wash it all out. Okay, so that was just a little rundown of what products I use in the shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in. I'm gonna wash my hair and then when I get out, I will touch base again and let you know what products I use from there. Oh yeah, and I just forgot to mention that I always have a clip 
similar well this is the exact one i just leave this in the shower i put my conditioner and the hair mask in and i go ahead and just like clip it up while i am doing like i might shave my legs or exfoliate or whatever else so that's another product i use for washing my hair all right all right so i am all showered and <laughs> showered washed my hair and then i went ahead and just did my normal like skincare routine while that was happening i've just had my <laughs> hair up in this towel. I'm trying to think of like a timeline. I've had it up for probably almost 10 minutes now. I've just had it up in the towel. And in about five more minutes, I will show you some of the products that I finished off. All right, all right, checking in. So I've had my hair in my towel for quite some time now. I'm just gonna let it, let it out carefully, just being gentle, just being gentle with, gentle with the wet hair. I probably already said this, but again, I'm not, not an expert. This is just my hair care routine and what has been working for me. And I feel like my hair is pretty healthy. I know I do deal with some breakage. I have some thinning going on that I've always had in this area, but I feel like with a product I'm about to show you, I've had some regrowth going on there, which is awesome. These are the final products I use. And then after I put them in, I do put my hair up in like a low clip, low bun, like in a clip to let those products kind of set. And then I don't end up brushing my hair for a little while longer. So I'm going to use my products and then I'll let them sit for, I'm going to, I have to, I have laundry I want to put away and then probably eat dinner actually. And then not until after that is when I'll brush my hair out. The final products I love to use on my hair, I think I've mentioned, I have mentioned these in the past, but this Bondi Boost Intensive Spray, this is, it's a leave-in formula that contains that vitamin B5, peppermint and tea tree essential oil. So this is used to just spray on your scalp to help with hair growth. So I really focus this product and you can see this growth that is coming through. So I already kind of, kind of parted my hair already. I think I've mentioned I just go with the center part, but that doesn't necessarily matter yet. I'm not brushing it out yet. I would go ahead and use this. I'll shake it. And then I really just focus it on that one spot. And then you're just supposed to gently massage it in the area. And it has lasted me such a long time because you really don't need, I feel like I haven't needed to use that much. Just one more. All right, rubbed that in. And then the last product I use on my hair is this leave-in conditioner by Aveda. This is a product a friend had recommended. Actually, I think it was part of a, I think she gave it to me for either a birthday present or Christmas, I can't remember. But I use this every time I wash my hair. Again, it says to shake well, to lightly mist clean damp hair or you can put it on dry hair for added nourishment don't rinse it out i'm gonna go ahead and focus this really anywhere on my head i pro i don't put it too close to my roots but i'm just gonna kind of spray it all over and let it do its job I like to make sure I get that distributed throughout most of most of my hair. And then I mentioned this, but I am going to just put my hair gently in a like a little low bun. Really depends, but like tonight because I need to um, I need to put some laundry away. I don't end up brushing my hair right away. I'm gonna let those products kind of sit. I'm gonna go do my laundry away and whatever else. And then by then I'll probably get sick of this clip and just let my hair hang out. And then I'll be back to show you my hairbrush and all that. All right, hey guys, so my hair has continued to air dry and now I'm just gonna go in with my brush, uh, get out gently, get out these tangles, any tangles and snarls. I think my part is pretty much, I like to keep it pretty, pretty much centered. I feel like it might like sway one way or the other sometimes, but pretty much centered. And then I do use the dry bar brush. I think I was interested in this because of how big the barrel is. 
Yeah, I like it. I do really like it. I feel like I, so I have a smaller brush that is a, I think it's the wet brush. I have that in my like traveling kit. So sometimes I'll actually reach for it because I feel like it gets out, it's so much more gentle on my hair. But then again, this like, I, I, I just have to be gentle and like handle it well. Um, but I do like how, I like how big the, what do you call that? I call it a barrel. That's how big the barrel is. Paddle? I like how big the, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you call it. I like, <laughs> I like how big this brush is to do with my long hair. Again, not an expert, but I start with my ends and I hold, I hold my hair so that I'm not just like tugging it out of the root, if that makes sense. So I like to hold my hair, just gently go through the ends, and then I work my way up on this side, and then I'll go back to the, and then I'll go over to the other side. have it you guys and I will mention too let me not forget to mention that I don't blow dry my hair I let my hair air dry the only time I blow dry it is if I'm in a pinch and I need to and I end up needing to wash and style my hair the same day for whatever reason or if I want to straighten my hair I go ahead and blow dry my hair uh just because I get some really back here I get my hair naturally it gets wavy like in this back section and it's straight everywhere else so kind of funny how that works but yeah i don't i don't i rarely blow dry my hair and i just let it air dry from here on out and it helps of course if i get my hair washed and brushed out with enough time for it to air dry before going to sleep because then when i go to sleep with wet hair i just ugh, i don't like how it ends up feeling in the morning. So I think I've given myself enough time to let it air dry before I go to bed. And now that I think about it, I will probably add a clip just after this just to show you how my hair looks when it does air dry. Thanks so much for watching. Take care guys. I'll see you in my next one.